What's going on? Chuck here, and today I'm talking about one of the keys to making sure that your website gets found online by the right people at the right time. In essence, today I'm talking about keywords and headings. Now this video is made for remodeling contractors or business owners who are trying to do their own SEO or even marketers who are working with remodeling companies. The examples I use are going to be directly exactly about remodeling and I'm going to be using my own remodeling company as an example. So the examples I show you are going to be purely from my experience and explaining what worked for me. At the core of this, this is not a do exactly as I do type of video. It's a watch what I do and learn from it and then apply these principles to your own situation. Now, this is video two of eight in this series. So if you didn't watch the first video, should probably pause this one, click the link here and go back and watch that first video where I talk about the North Star, the cornerstone of my SEO philosophy, which is customer experience. These days, Google is really, really good at understanding what people are looking for and watching to see what kind of experience they're having when they visit our website. So if that isn't the main thing that you're focused on, you're not going to get very good results. Over are the days of just stuffing a bunch of keywords on a page and getting good results from that. All right. So first of all, let's talk about what a website is even there for in the first place. Uh, you know, what is your website there for? Is it there to give people information about you? Is it there to attract possible customers? Now you need to decide that before you start doing this stuff. Some of my clients, they do, you know, they bid projects, they go out and bid projects. They don't get customers finding them online. So their website is more about supporting their sales process. People will get a bid from them and then they'll go to their website to vet them and understand more about the company, what kind of jobs they've done, stuff like that. Now my website, it, it's, it does do that, it does serve that purpose, but the main purpose is being found on Google and attracting people who are looking for remodeling services so that they can get a hold of me. And if that's, you know, if that's what your website's about, then, you know, tune into this one. So let's see. Next, let's talk about what people, you know, how are people even finding our website? If we don't understand how Google works, then this is going to be a really difficult process. So let's just pretend that we are a homeowner and we're looking for a general contractor. So we go to Google, we type in general contractor. Now, if you click, if you type that in and then you just click on this, you're going to see all sorts of things that Google thinks you might be looking for. And this is Google telling us what it thinks we might be looking for. So it's important to pay attention to this stuff. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page, there's going to be a bunch of other related searches, general contractor near me, general contractor salary, general contractor services. Google's telling us what it thinks we might be looking for. And if we just pay attention to what it's showing us, we could start to get an idea of how it thinks. So first of all, it shows us Google maps up here at the top. This is showing us local contractors. Okay. Here's my company right here at the top. This listing, this business listing right here brings in millions of dollars worth of leads every year. Now we can't handle all that business, but it is bringing in the phone calls. If we go down a little bit further, we've got people also ask. So this is again, this is Google telling us what it thinks we might be looking for. Now, so it's giving me the Wikipedia page for general contractor. So it's saying someone that types in general contractors probably not, you know, might not be looking for one. So let's go with Google, what Google said and put in near me. Notice how the search results change. Now we've got, now these are all lead reselling websites. So, you know, these are corporations. Their job is to collect people's contact information and then try to sell it to you. The goal with us SEO for us is to show up here in Google Maps above all these lead reselling corporations and or be shown along with them. Now, sometimes I'm number one on this list. Today, I'm number eight, it looks like. But regardless, people still will, will ignore all of these websites because these aren't even contractors. And they'll go all the way down and they'll scan all these and then they'll see, okay, remodeling general contractor in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Now that's the title tag. 
if you don't know what a title tag is, go back and watch the first video because that's where I explain this. So let's click on to here and see what I'm using as my headings. So first of all, what is a heading? Is this gonna load ever or what? Here we go. A heading is generally the largest text on your website. And the, the first heading or it's the technical label for it is H1 tag. For me is general contractor in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So this is super important. Notice how when I was the homeowner, I typed in general contractor near me because that's what I was looking for. And if that person was in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, then I'm going to be signaling to Google that I'm a general contractor near them. Now, that's the Google side of it. What about the, the person side of it? As soon as a person lands on my website, they're wondering, is this, the, is this what I'm looking for and is this in the right location? So that's why I show this first. I'm a general contractor in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Someone sees that, they're like, okay, cool. That's what I'm looking for and that's where I live, so I'm in the right place. If they don't see that, they're gonna be, they're, that's still gonna be the first question in their mind. They're gonna be looking around your website really fast, like looking for your location, looking for these keywords that show to them that they're in the right place. So we wanna make that easy for them and we wanna show that to them first. Now a lot of my customers, they're actually looking for a remodel or they're looking for an addition or some are even looking for custom homes. So that's what I put here in the H2 tag, which is like the, head, the second heading, the subheading. And all of these are the main keywords that people type into Google and this is my location. So this one spot at the very top of my site is covering all the bases as far as showing people that they're in the right place. That's, that's the number one goal of a heading. It's to show people they're in the right place. If you can do that and you're showing them what they're looking for, then Google's gonna reward you by showing you on top of the Google search. Uh, and I'm just gonna breeze through these other headings about Kyle Construction. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. This is a little section about us, remodeling and home services. Again, these are these are keywords that I know Google understands and they're the words that people use. So that's why I use them. If you aren't sure, you know, what kind of keywords to use, just post up in the comments, um, put your website or your business name in there. I'll take a look and I'll tell you, but it's really simple. It's super common sense. Like you should be able to figure this out. Uh, these six headings right here are just the different types of projects that we do. And to illustrate the importance of this stuff, there was a, time, a while back where I wanted more bathroom projects. I had a couple guys who were really good at bathrooms. We were able to turn those projects very quickly and make really good money on it without having to have these projects that went on for six to 12 months. So I wanted more bathroom remodels. So what I did is I changed this heading to bathroom remodeling contractor in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And within a week or two, I started showing up number one for bathroom related searches. And I started getting more bathroom projects. That's how this stuff works. Now, it worked that way for me because I was already in the number one spot. I was already showing up on the first page of Google. So when I changed the focus of these headings, I saw the results pretty much immediately. If you're not already on the first page of Google, you won't notice results right away because nobody's finding you still. So your number one goal is to be found. Once you're found, then you can change your focus. And that's where it gets kind of strategic because you might have some competitors in your area who are really, really good at the bathroom remodeling SEO. And competing with them might be a losing battle for you if you're just getting started with this. But you might find that there's nobody really targeting basement remodels. So you can try making your headings basement remodeling contractor in your location and see if you can start showing up number one for those searches. Because if you can get, you know, maybe basement remodels aren't your favorite job, but if you're not able to get any jobs online and you have the opportunity to get some basement remodels, I mean, if you need jobs, then you should try something like that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like 
this stuff is super simple building and renovation uh, renovating dream homes renovating renovation is another keyword people use i got the word homes in here these are all just little signals to google and to the people visiting my page like what my website's about super common sense if you pay attention to nothing except building your website for your customers and asking yourself how can i make this as easy and simple to understand for my customers as possible if you do that you're going to do pretty well most people don't do that most companies don't pay attention to this stuff and most seo companies are only focused on keywords and they're not focused on the customer experience so if you can do that you're going to have a huge edge on people now how do you know if you're getting good results now the last video in this series this is the eight video series this is only number two so the last video will probably come out in a couple weeks and that video is going to be all about google analytics and google search console now these are free apps that you can install on pretty much any website and it's going to allow you to see who's visiting your site what keywords they're typing in where they're located how many pages they visit what pages they visit how much time they spend on there who fills out your contact form, where they're coming from, all of this information that you need in order to understand if this stuff's working or not. So if you don't understand how that stuff works and you don't have it installed already, subscribe to this channel so that you can be alerted when that video comes out because that's definitely one that you don't want to miss. So I hope that all makes sense to you. If you have questions, put them in the comments. If you aren't sure what keywords to put in um, or what headings to use, you know, post up your ideas in the comments. I'll let you know what I think. And thanks for watching.